What up, what up, what up? And good morning, SOB fam. It's June 16th. So that means I got to start my video off today with a happy heavenly birthday to my grandmother, Carol Ma Brown. I love you. I miss you. And wow, it's been 13 years since you've been gone, Ma. I remember there was days I couldn't even get on here and talk about my grandmother. I couldn't talk about my grandmother at all without dropping a tear, being emotional, and going through it. But these days, it's just different for me. Um, I'm in a different headspace. But I love you, Ma. Not a day go by that I don't think about you, and I'm going to do a video today honoring you on your B-Day. I'm going to give y'all a some stories about my grandmother, our relationship, and, you know. So if you're looking forward to that, I'm going to drop a couple videos today. Secondly is, this video was supposed to drop, I, uh, drop a couple days ago, Friday. First and foremost, I want to apologize to all my people that was on my live, all my day ones that was on my live on Instagram Thursday. Because we had went into this story a little bit and I told y'all it was coming Friday. I apologize to y'all. I got my son uh, Friday. And it's been quite an event for a weekend to say the least. Um, but we'll get more into that later. Thirdly, I did not change the battery in my smoke detector yet. So if you hear it, <laughs> so if you hear it beeping, just deal with it. Because I ain't changed it. I see I've been getting a lot of comments in the comment section about my smoke detector. It's not changed yet. Bear with me, though. <laughs> but let's get into this video, right? And if you're not already following, make sure you're following on Instagram, at Shots of Brown. Along with this video that I'm about to give y'all right now, I'm going to give y'all the pictures and everything that goes with it. I'll drop the pictures and everything. I'll make a post on the Instagram, at Shots of Brown. Let me start this video off with saying this, though. I do not condone violence in any way, shape, form, or fashion, and I'm not a tough guy. This is just a funny story that I'm going to give y'all. I'm just reminiscing. Just a funny little story. So I do not condone violence. I'm not a tough guy. None of that is just a story. Y'all know I do story times, and that's just what it is. But let's get this started. I believe this was... This was like somewhere, let's just say somewhere between 2018 to 2020. It couldn't have been 2020 though. Probably 2018, 2019. I'll, you'll, you'll get the timestamp on the Instagram page at Shots of Brian when I drop this, when I drop the pictures over there. But that was around this time frame. My uncle, Bobby Brown, had a show here in Atlanta. We're staying at the Embassy Suites off of Peachtree, Peachtree Street in Buckhead. If anybody in, ever been to Atlanta and they're familiar with that area, we're at the Embassy Suites in Buckhead. So, Pete, me and Unc, we out. We having a good time. Um, he came here. He had a show the next day after this event took place, after what I'm about to tell you took place. He had a show, I believe, at Chastain. Um, so me and him, that you know, we out, we chilling, we drinking, we kicking shit. We go back to the hotel and we chilling, you know, Uncle B. He like, hey, Shiz. You know, that's what everybody in my family call me, Shiz, for those that don't know. So y'all can feel free to call me Shiz, uh, Red, Shiz, whatever. So he's like, yo, Shiz, you know, call some females over. Let's, you know, let's, you know, hang out and kick it. Boom, boom, boom. That's what me and Unc did all the time. It was always, when you seen me and Unc, it was always us kicking it with some women. That's just how we kicked our shit. But I'm needless to say, so I do that. If you watch my story before where I talked about where I had, where uh, I, we tried to sneak some females in the crib, in the mansion one day, and Auntie Whitney and my mother called us, and they had the duct tape in the uh, back. These are the same two girls that I called. 
back to the to this hotel, the Embassy Suites. So I call them. Y'all come down here, me and I'm chilling. Y'all come pop out. They come and pop out. They uh they come and pop out. They at the hotel. They come downstairs to the lobby in the midst of them getting there. My mother and Uncle T pop up to the hotel. When my mother and Uncle T pop up to the hotel, you know, they come in the room and Uncle B was kind of going through it. He was a, l a little in his feelings, kind of emotional about Auntie Whitney and his feelings a little bit. So when my mother and Uncle T came in the room, he really, you know, they started conversating and he really got in his feelings and, you know, started dropping a few tears and they started conversating and boom, boom, boom. So in the midst of all that, you know, the girls call, they say they downstairs, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, all right, I'm going to come get y'all. I'll be down there in a minute to come get y'all. You know what I'm saying? So Uncle B looking at me like, oh, damn, they here? I'm like, yeah, they here. Uncle T, my Uncle Tommy Brown, he looks at me. He's like, he goes off instantly. What the fuck you got going on? You see your uncle going through this shit and, and you done call some, some, you know, some chicks down here, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, pause, man. Chill out. I'm just doing what Uncle told me to do. This is what I'm doing. I mean, so mind your fucking business at the end of the day. <laughs> I didn't say that to him, but that's what I'm saying in my mind. But I'm like, chill, Uncle, you want some other shit. And Uncle B's looking like, hey, he's looking at him too, like, chill, chill, chill. We on this, I mean, like, chill. But Uncle T, he ain't trying to hear none of that. So he gets to talk, he gets to going off on me. And I'm like, Uncle, you know, he's telling me he's going to knock me the fuck out and all of this, that, and third. So I'm like, um, you tripping, but okay. So I tell him, I'm like, you know, he start getting in my face. He get like right here up on me. I say, um, you spitting in my face, um, please back up. I don't want this shit to go left. Just back up. Just get up off me. What you going to do? Boom, boom, boom. I turn around. I put my back to um like this. I'm like, um, I'm going to just give you the chance to go ahead and get yours off first. Because when you hit me, I'm letting you know it's about to go down. I'm like this. He like, I ain't going to hit you with your back turned to me. Nigga, I ain't no sucker. Woom, woom, woom. He going crazy. <laughs> he going crazy. So I turn back around. I'm, I, I'm, I'm face to face with him at this point, right? When I get face to face with him, he takes off. He go to swing and try to hit me in the jaw. When he swing, he miss me. I duck. Mind you, at this point, we all done had some drinks. I done had some, everybody in the room done had some drinks. Everybody in the room done had a couple drinks. You know what I'm saying? As far as I can remember. But I know I had some drinks. I know my mother had, I mean, Uncle Uncle Bobby had some drinks. Uncle T. My mother, she might have had, she had some drinks. I can't really remember. But Pete came. So, you know, when I turned back around after he tell me, I ain't going to hit you with your back turned to me. So I turned back around. I put my face to him. He take off. Swing. And he missed. I duck, he missed, and I hit him with an uppercut. He fall to the ground. <laughs> so he on the ground, right? So in the midst of all that, in the midst of me hitting him, and I, you know what I mean, and he going to the ground, him going to the ground, I see Uncle B out the corner of my eye coming to attack me. You know what I'm saying? And he come. Like he was he was quick with it. I'll give him that. He come and he damn. Rock me in my jaw. By the time he rocked me in my jaw, you know, this shit happened so quick. I'm looking, I'm like, oh shit. So when he hit me in the jaw, I turn around and I hit his ass in the jaw back. Boom. Now he's on the <laughs> Now he's on the ground right here laying next to Uncle T. They both knocked the fuck out right here on this floor, right? My mother goes crazy in the room. Going crazy, going crazy. Oh, you just knocked my brothers out. What the hell wrong with you? Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, mommy, you seen them attack me. I wasn't doing shit. I was minding my business. She runs in the kitchen and tries to get a, and tries to get a, uh, she went and got a butter knife. I guess she feeling like, you know, she feeling like, you don't knock my brothers out. You need to, you know, she trying to tell me to back up away from them so they can get up. I'm like, mommy, put that knife down. We ain't about to go through this. Part two, you don't already, you know what I mean? Hit me upside the head with a bottle at the W. You want me to get away from me with that knife. I ain't got time for it. Your brothers ran up on me, and this just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't messing with them while they was on the ground. You know what I'm saying? They was, they was still, at this time, they still laying there trying to regroup and get up. So I'm like, I'm not going nowhere near them. Let me put that knife down. She like, yo, okay, whoop-de-whoop. She coming up. 
in the middle of all this, in the middle of all this, you know what I'm saying? I tell the females what room we in, man. I'm, I gotta go. I gotta go. Y'all come up here. I gotta go. One, one, one. So they ended up coming and knocking on the goddamn door. Knock, knock, knock. Why the hell did I tell them to come to that room door? So much shit was going on. I'm not even fully thinking, and I put these young ladies in danger. I apologize to you both still to this day because I ain't mean for that to take place how it did. They come and knock on this door. Knock, 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 knock. My mother like, who the fuck is that? They say their names. My mother goes and opens the door. As soon as she opened the door, the first one that was standing at the door, my mother rocked her. Bah! Hit him so hard, I'm like, oh shit. I heard it, I like, it was like a vibration. Like, I felt the shit. And I wasn't even the one that got hit by her. But I felt it, I'm like, oh my God. So she punched her. And she shut the door back. Y'all get the fuck away from here. Shut the door back, slam the door. So I'm like, oh shit, this is this commotion in here. Now Uncle T and Uncle B done got up off the floor. They talking crazy. Uh, somehow... God rest his soul, somehow uh, Billy, in the midst of all this, Billy, my cousin Bang Bang, he did security for my Uncle Bobby. Rest in peace to Bang, man. I love and miss you, man. Love and miss you, Bang. Shit ain't been the same since you been gone, bro. So, you know, uh, Bang get the, Bang, he, he hearing what's going on during this whole um, issue. So uh, the security downstairs wanted to call the police. You know, it's a lot of commotion. You know what I'm saying? They trying to call the police, this, that, and the third. I'm like, let me get the hell on up out of here. I jump up out the hotel room. I ain't got no, I, don't, I ain't got no shirt on or nothing. I'm, I leave the hotel. I'm walking downstairs. They like, yo, security is like, yo, we calling the police. And whoop, whoop. I'm like, man, ain't no, ain't shit going on. Ain't shit going on in here. So they go to the room, you know what I'm saying? They asking um, Uncle Numbers everything straight. They, did they want the police call? They're like, man, hell nah, don't call no police up here, man. What the hell wrong with you? So in the middle of all that, I leave. I call Bang. I'm like, man, Bang. What the hell, man? Go check on Uncle Num, man. What the, I mean, I just had to knock them both out. They in the room. He laughing on the phone. He like, man, I heard. What the hell? Y'all tripping. <laughs> he like, I heard what just happened. Y'all tripping over there. What's going on, shit? It's a me and him just on the phone clowning this shit. Know what I'm saying? We on the phone clowning and um talking shit. So I ended up leaving the hotel. I go, you know, I go handle, you know, I go and do my own thing for a few hours. Know what I'm saying? So I'm uh, I'm doing my own thing for a few hours. I get a phone call. My phone rang. Ring, ring, ring. I answer the phone. I'm like, what's up? It's Uncle B calling, by the way. I answer. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, where the hell you at, nigga? I'm like, shit. Now, I just I just left to get a breather right quick. Um, shit, you know, shit got kind of crazy and <laughs> I ain't wanna I ain't wanna bring no more, you know, attention to your room and, and have no police and shit called up there. So I just went about my business, um, but he like, man, fuck all that. Bring your ass back up here to the hotel, nigga. We good. So I jump in the car, I slide back to the hotel. I slide back to the hotel and um I go back to the to the room where, where Unc is, knock on his door, we go in there. As soon as he opened the door, me and Unc both just bust out laughing. <laughs> me and Uncle B, we just both, both just bust out laughing. He like, shit, you crazy as hell. I say, shit, I mean, y'all both, both attacked me. What am I supposed to do? He was like, man, I never would have imagined you. I never imagined you punching me or putting your hands on me. That was funny as hell. And then for you to... Hit me like that and knock me out. He was like, he, we just laughing. He like, yo, that shit funny as hell. Like, I never, I never imagined that. Woom, woom, woom. But he like, nigga, I ain't mad at you. You know, we, I mean, we we go through this shit and we be cool. So, because you know, me and him laughing about it. I mean, Uncle T, he was hot. Uncle T, he was mad as hell. Like he wasn't in the hotel, right in the room, right then and there, when me and Uncle B is having this conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's just me and Uncle B and you know the people that we with. And um, 
Yes, yeah, so he wasn't Uncle B, Uncle T wasn't there. Mind you, I told you Uncle B had a show the next day. You know what I'm saying? So it was the next the next day come, we all getting ready for the show. Uncle T, he was damn keeping his distance from me, not really rocking with me the whole day. He like, he he mad. He's still in his feelings about it. You know what I'm saying? But I tell Unc, I go and I, I, I go and tell Unc. I'm like, Unc, ain't no ain't no hard feelings or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you know how you get Unc. You know, my Unc, Uncle T, he was a golden glove boxer and he loved to bring that up about how he was a golden glove boxer and he was knocking people out back in his day and doing this, that, and the third. And if you know my Uncle T, you know he's just one of those guys who just, when you piss, like, he just, when you piss him off, he just be overly aggressive. He be, you just got to know my uncle to understand him. You know what I'm saying? Uncle T is what I'm talking about. So that whole day, he just giving me the cold shoulder, like, nigga, I ain't really rocking with you like that. Get out my face. You know what I'm saying? But, um. To say the least, though, everything was cool. Me and Uncle B had a funny ad. We we laughed about we laughed about this shit so hard for days. You know what I'm saying? For days. And uh we even laughed. We was even laughing at Uncle T about how he was still in his feelings about it. Cause I mean he was giving me the cold shoulder the whole day. So even, you know, me and Uncle B, we cracking jokes about it. Cracking jokes about it and shit. And clouding Uncle T, because you know, he be the, you know, he's he swear up and down, he the knockout artist. You know, he be, he be popping this shit. So me and Uncle B, we clowning and making jokes and shit about Uncle T all day. And he mad and, his, you know, he getting mad and pissing in his family. He's like, nigga, shut the fuck up. I don't want it. He just going. I mean, he just in his bag mad as hell. But make a long story short, man. It ain't go no farther than that. We laughed about it. You know what I'm saying? Me and Uncle T, we ended up making amends, of course, and everything was straight. <laughs> But it was a crazy ass, it was just a, 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 a crazy ass funny moment, man. And just how shit used to be. Like we'll be in the middle of we'll be in the middle of partying, uh having some drinks and kicking shit, and then a, a fucking fight a break out. And then we'll all be back cool hours later, days later, however long, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how shit used to be. But if we ever if we going at it. And then somebody else try to jump in it that ain't family or bloodline. Now we on your ass because this ain't got nothing to do with you. I mean, there's some family beef. And, you know, shit just to get crazy like that. But um, just a story, man. Just a story that was on my mind. We was talking about this shit the other day on my live. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to give y'all the full story. Um, Drop the full story on it. You know, boom, boom, boom. But make a long story short, though, after my mother had hit, after my mother had hit them females and shit, they was mad as hell. Like, shiz, you done called us up here on this bullshit, woom, woom, woom. And, um, yeah, it was crazy. But make a long story short, they ended up, not at that point, but my mother ended up, you know, um, ended up being cool with one of them, like, a year later. You know what I'm saying? Actually ended up meeting one of them and they ended up, you know, being cool and they laughed about the shit at the same time. But that's just a little story, man, of how shit used to be back in the day when we used to be on some wild, crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And whew, boy, did we have some eventful, crazy, funny, and great moments. Well, that's just one of them. And I got more stories coming, like I said before. If you ain't already, make sure you follow Shots of Brown on Instagram. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. More content coming. I said I was going to do a video every day. I done took a couple days off because my shit been crazy on my end. But we back. I'm dropping hella videos between, you know, today, tomorrow. You know, I'm back on my routine. I appreciate y'all for locking in, tuning in with me. I got more stories coming. Shots of Brown, baby. Thanks for supporting.